Hello everyone, this is my part 2 tutorial for 100 hours um, So if you haven't seen part 1, I'd click off this video and go watch that um, In this section, I'm going to be doing the final chunk of the piece um, So, thanks so much for coming, um, I hope you like it um, I wrote it a few years ago now um, And I think the kind of main main takeaway that you should have is that uh, it's not really important the kind of notes you play, it's the way you play them, so um, what dynamics you use and what pauses you want to put in and you know when you want to bring it out more, I think you need to really kind of flow with it in whatever way you want to. Um, so good luck, uh, I'll see you at the end. <laughs> I'll just play it through, it sounds like this. this piece as a whole but also um, this part is dynamics and um, you kind of have to feel for yourself um, where you want to put the dynamics in really you know when you want to put a pause in or pull it back or bring it out and um, that's down to your interpretation um, but yeah I'll teach you um, this the, the first phrase of the second part um, I'll, it sounds like this <laughs> starts before my right hand so there's like a rest in the melody whilst you play your chords to the first the first beat um, so in the right hand um you have you have an a arpeggio and then a c arpeggio so the a arpeggio a c e and a and then when you get to the A with your thumb, you want to place three down for me and cross your thumb whilst you play your F with your third finger. And you have to kind of hook your hook your hand round and um, so your fourth lands on the C whilst you play the E with your thumb and then go up a C arpeggio. Which is just C, E, G and C. Sounds like this. Wanna try that? I'll play with the chords so you can um you can hear it with the chords. Um if you want to try chords, all it is is an A and then you move up to a C when you play the C arpeggio, but um I'll call them out. Okay, so after the count of four, um remember I've got my first beat um comes in with my left hand, but your right hand waits until um, the second, okay. One, two, three, four. Um, and then the 
next bit goes like this. And that's just a kind of upwards moving sequence of thirds and fourths. So um, your right hand plays an F and third, so F and A, and then um, down to a C and an F, and then back up to a, an F triad, and then um, you move the same fingering, and you move, you just move up one string, so you've got a G and a B, um, so a G triad, and then a, a D fourth, and then, and then an A triad, and that, that pattern after there goes... So it's a lot of kind of twiddling around um, an A triad, and then you have to rock, rock on the B and the C, and then an E fourth, so an A and an E. So um, that's an E triad, and then up a C and a D. Your third and um, third and second because it's important that you have your thumb on the E. So that whole section, um, I'll just play. I'll just play that from the the triad movements. Sounds like this. So if we give that a go, um, on the count of four, just from the, the triad section, okay, one, two, three, four. Whilst um, that's happening, um, plays an F and then a G, um, so if we put those, um, those two bits together then that we've just learned, um, from the big A arpeggio going up, um, so it should sound like this. Is a 
a B for four beats. So one, two, three, four. Um, so once we've held the B for four, you want to come up three from A and then place your second and third um, down. So second on A and then your third goes down to an E. Then you play down that and come back up again. Um, and then um, you move your thumb to the B and tuck under come three up from C then. Wanna wanna try that just from the the four beat B. So that whole part um, goes like this. For this section is an A and an F, G, and an A. And um, yeah, so the 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 next part kind of uh, builds up a bit. It gets a bit quicker. Um, I'll just play it. it. Sounds like this. So 
cross uh, for the for the last day we cross our um, thumb under and play a B and a C. And whilst we play those notes, our right hand plays this, um, which is. the last section so I think um, the easiest way to uh, remember because you have to shift your thumb up um, from the C to the D to the E to the G and then the A Oh, the A, sorry. Um, so you have to sort of count to four in your head, and every time, um, every time you say four, you want to jump your thumb up. So one. chords as well um, and I'll call out one two three four and um, just so you can see where where you have to jump up and um, so your thumb moves from the C to the D to the E to the G and then, and then an octave A and um, so if we give that a go after the after the count of four and um, one two, three, four. Switch 
back from our one, two, three pattern. We're now back to our our crossover, um, our crossover pattern. Um, whilst our right hand um, plays plays this. So it's like octave octave A, and then an A arpeggio. You're going to want to bounce off another A to the uh, A octave to get to the B octave. And then a B arpeggio, which is a B, D, G and B. And then we bounce off a B octave again, up to the C. And then a C octave, so we've got C, E, A and C. Um, and then we play um, this pen. Falling from the sea, and um, play. Um, do you want to try that? Just from um, just from the the, the A arpeggio. So we got. signature so it sounds kind of offbeat can you see what, see what I mean there so in the notes of that hemiola you start with your thumb on C second on B and third on A and we just fall down it and um, so it sounds like this Quite hard to get your head around. I'll just I'll just play it for you one more time. Wanna try that? The one C. One, two, three, four. So when we get down to the D stop. Um, so with the chords, um, we've just played a, a C octave. So we've got an, an F and then a G and then an, and then an A for the next section. Um, try it one more time with the chords. One, two, three, four. section from the D and A to jumping A arpeggios um, should, should go like this. So 
you try that really slowly? One, two, three, four. which sounds like this. So fourth on C, third on E, second on G, and thumb on C. it now and interpret it in your own way and um yeah i look forward to hearing what you guys come up with <laughs>